What's up guys, it's Powerbang and I'm bringing you guys a video today talking about crazy air raids. We had a ton of them this weekend in our uh, CWL War vs. Beast mode, which we lost, unfortunately, giving them their first win. WHF definitely struggling right now, uh, but we just launched a recruiting effort. If you watch the channel, obviously you were probably aware of that. We filled up three clans uh, literally overnight. So thanks to all of you who expressed an interest. I'm sure we'll continue to churn more people through as uh, we find those who are going to make the cutting those who don't so anyways if you're interested check a few videos back talked about whf recruiting uh if you're interested in joining but we will be back in no time but in this war we had some awesome raids i want to go ahead and jump straight into them let's start off on number nine we'll see in the cwl coverage let's start off on number 10 uh this is nick hitting a 11 v 10 here and he has some really nice air raids at the Town Hall 11 level. I believe he comes in from the bottom right here with a golem. And again, the whole premise here is to get in with a uh, bowler-based kill squad. Pretty heavy on the bowlers, nine of them in the army camps. We'll see what he brings in the clan castle, if it's more bowlers or if it's a hound. Uh, but just absolutely smashes on his entries. So check this out. Queen, King, Grand Warden all working. The bowlers are starting to hand and gets a great funnel created with the wizards and the baby dragons. Everything looking good right now. Heading into that first air defense this is where we drop a rage spell poison the queen as well as the incoming clan castle troops you're going to see uh, some valkyries and baby dragon come out so everything looking good so far um, you can see them working in the bowlers absolutely wrecking right now uh, great grand warden ability to prevent any major damage there to his stuff um, but just awesome job there from Nick on the way in sends in a couple trailing balloons there to pick up the archer tower on the right and uh, also uh, the cannon uh, that is just kind of stray there as well but you can see the queen getting all the way to the back side of this base getting just a ton of value grand warden still protecting some of these balloons but they work their way into the uh inferno tower where there's a freeze and a rage haste combination uh looks like just rage is going to lead them straight into the inferno they get in there take out the wizard tower then onto the inferno itself get that worked out and then uh, they do have one haste spell left but that is an absolute gob of balloons there holy cow smashes this one uh nick in both raids was absolutely dominant so great job to him this world we really appreciate the uh the solid raids, man. So nice work. We're going to back out of that one. Obviously, he cleans up. But the balloons take a little bit to do it. So that starts out the air raids with uh, the Town Hall 11s hitting the 10s. Um, not a whole lot of successful 10 ash in this war. Uh, we were a little bit uh, a little stagnant at all levels, to be honest with you. Um, so we didn't have as many three-star attempts as we would have liked. But Sean, too, look at the eventual queen pathing here that he's going to eventually pick up this air defense first as she kind of works her way around, and then we'll step down to this one second. So uh, very nice plan here. I love the way he kind of took took this on. Uh, he gets the queen taken care of and the clan castle in the process, and he's just very patient uh, with this stuff. So I'm fast-forwarding a little bit so you can see some of this walk. Just really, really nice stuff there. There's the poison. He gets the minions uh, taken care of. Still is able to save the ability. Uh, just a rage spell to kind of get through it all. So nice work thus far from Sean 2. Takes out the town hall. Got that one star secured. a baby. So he gets the uh, expo taken care of. Another rage goes down just to keep her going. Uh, the king and the minion are doing their thing. And I love how the king provides some tanking here for the first couple balloons on the wizard tower and the archer tower. Uh, that makes the hound, you know, basically unnecessary. But there's the queen getting that uh, first air defense taken care of. And unfortunately, she passed a little bit too high and has to work her way back to the air defense. So he has to send a hound in, in order to save some time. And he loses a couple of balloons that, you know, he would have preferred to have kept up. And he also loses a seeking air mine, uh, to a hound to a seeking air mine there. So that's all right. The queen finally steps down, does her job, takes out that second air defense. And then we have some balloons that have crept in. Get the expo, slide over to the third air defense. All is well so far. Everything looking really good. Nice and spread out base so the balloons really don't uh, take on a lot of risk. Uh, hay spell kind of moving everything through. I love the minions on the top side there to work on those storages, getting that cleanup done, done in advance. And then uh, hay spell to get them into the back side of this base. A little bit shallow there, so unfortunately um, the balloons you know, lost their speed boost before they got to the final little bit there. So he ends up smashing the base. Nice work to Sean too, man. That's three star for the good guys. Let's go to the next one. We got Danny for the win. Uh, he six-packed as well. You're going to see one of his raids in the CWL coverage this week. 
Um, so very nice job to him this war as well. He brought e both raids, I think, the Quad Quake Baby Dragon Queen Charge attack, and essentially absolutely smashed it with swag spells, swag, you know, baby dragons in both of them. So let's see how he does it here. He brings in 11 baby dragons and uses one of them to funnel. So 10 baby drags. He's got to be pretty efficient and get some pretty good value here for the queen. So he drops his king on the top. Uh, should have some bowlers coming in behind. There we go. And they're going to go ahead and bowlers take out a wizard tower and get an air defense. So very nice work on that so far from the bowlers. He finally has one. I don't know why two of those bowlers ignored that air defense. They're like, yeah, we're going to get that builder hat. No big deal. So one of them is actually able to get the bomb tower and the air defense. So that worked out nicely for him. Uh, the rest continue to walk. The king finally dies. The queen's going to be like, yeah, not having it. So in goes the queen. Two air defenses down at this point. She's got two more to go. And luckily, there's a path directly to them. So uh, eight baby dragons left. We've got one alive on the left side. Queen's still working her, uh, her magic in the rage here. And baby dragon on the left going to get taken out here by the queen. So... Now we've got uh, one healer down as well, two healers down from Seeking Air Mind, so getting a little weak, pops the ability, gets that queen taken care of, and continues to work her way through the base, taking out some key buildings here, so nice job with that. In comes a balloon, uh, checking, I think, for some Seeking Air Minds there, and then now we're just going to surround the bottom of this base with the baby dragons, everything looking pretty good for Danny. and uh, as the queen continues to kind of tank for the baby dragons, Baby dragons are just too much for a single point defense. I mean, they just completely overwhelm uh, whatever's going on. So he has to bring in one more from the top left. But, I mean, he's got, he's got this base under control. Lots of troops left over. Still has two baby dragons uh, that he has yet to deploy. So very nice job here to Danny for the win. Uh, you're going to see those last two babies come in there from the south. Swagging them up. Nice work. All right, next up we've got... Number 17, and that is Tim getting taken out by Dan Howe. Dan Howe had an awesome raid uh, here. He's going to bring, again, the baby dragons as well. Um, that's kind of a very popular attack right now. I remember I was one of the first people to, like, see the light when it came to baby dragons. They immediately became my favorite troop. They're extremely powerful both at 9 and 10, even a little bit at 11 um, when going for those two stars. So uh, I'm a big fan, and it was really kind of cool to see them find their way into the meta. And now it's like, holy crap. That is a lot of what you were seeing at Town Hall 9. A lot of the CWL footage that's submitted to me every week. Um, Town Hall 9 footage is uh, not, not ma majorly, but uh, a lot of footage of Baby Dragon. So I still don't think that they're overpowered. I think that they're in a good spot um, because it does take skill to, to use them and it, it takes uh, an eye for the base. But if you use them properly, man, are they strong. So... Definitely like uh, the baby dragons. King and the bowlers working their way down the side of the base. The bowlers and king absolutely wrecking in this raid. Uh, king keeping a very full health bar. Um, nice job on him. And then it looks like the bomb tower finally gets out of range. So he's going to do a little bit of damage to these bowlers. Bowlers end up taking it out. And uh, it looks like the queen has taken care of that lava hound. So into the base she goes. She has a nice path to all of the air defense here. Uh, rage spells should be used on her to kind of speed her up. You're going to see another one come down here in just a moment. Um, she works her way through the dark storage. There it is. So she's working her way through now. And again, guys, we've got baby dragons coming in from the backside of this base, kind of chipping away at everything while the queen is working her magic in the core, taking care of the air sweeper. She's going to get both expos. She's going to get both of the air defenses. Everything's just looking marvelous right now for Dan Howe. Again, four baby dragons and a Valkyrie still left over, and this base is already cooked, man. Um, so really, really nice job. It looks like uh, he's going to be able to... Uh, you know, get the rest with the queen if needed. But my goodness, just absolutely wrecking this base. He'll drop the rest of it, I believe, to go ahead and help out there. One from the south, one from the north, and he swags one. So huge, huge effort there from Dan Howe. Nice job this war, man. Uh, let's look at 19 here. This is Danny Moe. And Danny Moe, again, baby dragons, guys. Baby dragons. You can see how many of these are used um, from top to bottom in our clan. So... Uh, very, very strong strategy. I don't think that people are forcing this one either. It's just this ends up working for a lot of bases. You just have to find the best place to quad quake to open up access to all of the air defense in the base. And if not all of it, have a plan for that final air defense, you know, once you get there. So balloon at the top, he's going to get that taken care of with a, uh, 
a balloon at the top. Now that's a Tesla. A balloon's going to take out the Tesla at the top. So obviously this is a cleanup attack. He's going to start with the queen here at the top. Open up the wall. Uh, Giant was able to tank for some wall breakers. He's able to get in there with the queen. Perfectly done. And that baby dragon on the top left, able to get some funneling done. Takes out the wizard tower just in time. So really nice job with that. Queen on her way in. We'll fast forward through some of that. There comes a lure on the CC. Rage spell down. Wizard, to or Wizard Tower. <laughs> Wizard gets one shot off on the healers. Uh, but it's not going to matter. She goes down to the queen. And uh, we'll continue on to the on to the King and Bowler portion of it. So the King's tanking both the King and the... Uh, oh, man, this is going to be interesting. Very interesting. Valkyrie's going to make quick work of those Bowlers. A little bit uh, a little bit rough on that, you know, uh, drop right there. So wastes his King and Bowlers entirely. Drops them there. Maybe he thought the Clan Castle was empty. I don't know. Uh, but he forgot the King ability, and the Bowlers really didn't do much before they were wiped out by the Valkyries. So now the Queen has gotten back in there, worked her way through the wall, and she is easily going to get to that backside air defense. And at this point, I mean, you can see the King, Bowlers, so you got your King and CC essentially swagged, um, didn't do anything, and he still is going to just wreck this base. Like, it's not even going to be a thing. So... Really nice work. Queen continuing on. We'll kind of fast forward it from here since we've seen this done before. Queen on Queen action uses that ability. Finally gets it taken care of. And then uh, just collapses on the backside here with the Valks and the Baby Dragons. And again, just tons of troops left over. Uh, so nice job to Danny Mo. All right, the Dan's on fire this war. So Sean, too, bringing up his second uh, attack of this recap. And again, notice the freaking air defenses, guys. You can't put air defenses that close together in your base and have it be okay. This attack will wreck you every time. So he's going to start with a queen walk up there around 3 o'clock and have her walk south to a wall break entry uh, right around where the wizard tower is. So you'll see that kind of come down. Uh, funnel will be broken here by the baby dragon. And then we're going to have the king and the boulders come in at the army camps up there as well. So that will uh, make a nice little walk. And they'll be able to pick up one of the air defenses. So everything is looking good so far. CC taken care of. Queen begins the walk. And here we go. We're off to the races. Rage spell goes down. We've got king on queen and king at the same time. Uh, or king on queen and queen on queen at the same time. I'm confusing myself, guys. So <laughs> in comes the king from the top right. Bowlers in behind. Everything looking super polished so far. This is going well. So we got a giant down. Uh, distracting a little bit. He kind of missed his opportunity for wall breaker. Uh, just too much was on top of that uh, giant at the same time. But he's able to distract with a baby dragon and then wait for the mortar shot. Now the queen's going to get in there. Rage spell goes down. She's going to have no choice but to turn in. And in she goes. So there we go, taking out some of these things. Now we've got a baby drag backing up the king. A Tesla farm up there as well. And wouldn't you know it, that quad quake has opened up access for the queen to get to the Tesla farm as well. So essentially, as long as time permits, as long as the queen can work her way through all of these threats, this is like a guaranteed three-star. He can be as patient as he wants to be with his baby dragon deployment. As long as time does not become a factor, he's good to go. This raid is this raid is over at this point. All of his spells have been used, but he has not used his ability yet. He does lose another healer to a Seeking Air Mine. Uh, but now from the left, we've deployed a few baby dragons. From the right, we've got a baby dragon coming in to take out the Expo. And from the top, we've got the final baby dragon that we, is really needed. And this thing is cooked at this point. All of the buildings down, defense all down, just a couple storages to take care of. Completely crushed this base. Nice work, Sean, too. Love the plan, dude. And uh, again, nice war. I believe he dropped a 12-pack for us on both accounts. So, awesome job. All right, so we've got 24 up next. This is uh, Todd the Duke bringing his air attack. And I want you guys to pay attention to the value that he gets here uh, with his kill squad. Just fantastic value. He brings seven wizards, three golems, a uh, CC full of bowlers, and heroes. So, I mean, it's a really ambitious push. Uh, and he wants to get all the way back to the sweepers, the wizard towers, get three air defenses on this push, and then use two, or one hound and 12 loons for his, uh, backside push on his balloon. So here comes the bowlers. There's a jump spell down. We've got a queen that is absolutely teeing off on a golem, takes out a golem and a golemite so far. Uh, so that is a little bit pro uh, prob problesome, troublesome, troublesome. Yes, that's my words. Uh, here comes the CC. Second jump spell goes down. 
down, poison for the CC. Rage Bell's going to kind of get everything, uh, you know, angry and mad and just destroying things. Bowlers take out the second air defense. King uses his ability, pushes all the way through to the middle part of this base, and unfortunately they hit a giant bomb, so bowlers are a little bit weak, but that does not stop them from doing just mass damage uh, to the core of this base. Queen is still doing her thing. Here comes a, a Hound directly into the air defense. It's already gone, uh, but just too many balloons um to to overwhelm that air defense i mean just looking really good so far uh he parks last little bit here on the air defense he gets it taken out and we've got a group of balloons up top uh taking out the cannon and mortar and stuff up there so looking really good right now golem's still doing some tanking nothing but clean up left to do here guys so we got a couple archers to help out but the loons for the most part gonna take care of this one nice work todd all right, last one, guys. I, I promised you guys one mass hog. This was uh, this was something else. This is Lucas uh, coming at this base. Now, he's brought 43 hog riders to this. Now, watch the way he gets this uh, queen killed and CC lured. This is insane. So, comes in, backs up his king with the baby dragon, funnels with the wizard, and backs his baby dragon up with the queen. So Baby Dragon has yet to be targeted. The king is doing all of the targeting. And you'll see here the queen goes after the king and is taken out entirely by the Baby Dragon. So wonderful job. It looks like the Baby Dragon out of the CC comes out and queen takes him out as well. So ability used, here comes the goblin. So everything beautifully done. Backs up the queen here with the wizard and the wizard will take out the bulk of these goblins that are uh, going at the uh, the queen, but she actually takes them out first, so it works out great. Here comes the CC hogs. Now watch the pathing here that he takes. Two finger drop and a few extra on the left just to reinforce that left group. Uh, he does hit a bomb right away, drops a heal spell to make sure they get through the Tesla farm. Everything headed in. Another two finger drop. That's how many hogs were brought in this raid. Brings another two finger drop from the south, taking all of that out. Here comes a a second heal spell making sure the first and second groups are healed up and their path to the inside to the sweeper only one hog triggers that bomb on the south that's not going to get the job done on defense queen still rolling free up top guys naked hero entry and the queen lives to tell the tale so far so beautiful job on that she finally goes down we have a whole ton of hogs left right now guys Beautiful uh, giant bomb placement here behind this Tesla. You'll see right here between that and the Wizard Tower. It does force a heal spell uh, on the last little bit. Otherwise, he was in Swag City. But Luke is getting it done. And he's got uh, the hogs just <laughs> doing his thing, cleaning up. He said, note to self, if you're going to leave the king behind on the edge of the trash ring, make sure you have air troops to start the cleanup. Time did get a little bit close on this one, but obviously he overpowered the heck out of this base. Just couldn't start the cleanup on that edge of the trash ring because the king was guarding it. So that's going to do it, guys, for this uh, this recap slash showcase. We had some crazy air raids in this one. Hopefully you could learn some stuff. Uh, some stoned go bolos in this one, as well as a lot of baby dragon action. And also... Uh, some really nice dip action from Nick up top, and uh, that's going to help you guys at the Town Hall 11 level, uh, you know, with your attacks coming down to get those successful Town Hall 10 trips. So that is going to do it, guys, for this episode. I've got to get out of here, but keep it locked here for more Clash of Clans action. Um, I've got an announcement coming up in the next video, I think. i got to figure out how to do it and how to execute it and all that fun stuff. But stay tuned, hit the like button for me, and I will be back tomorrow. Take care, guys.